Welcome to the Real Estate Way to Wealth and Freedom podcast with Jacob Ayers, providing actionable content to help you along your journey to financial freedom through real estate investing. As the premier asset class, real estate has helped ordinary people just like you amass fortunes. The benefits of passive income from real estate investing will allow you to live a life you want. And now your host, entrepreneur, real estate investor, and apartment deal syndicator, Jacob Ayers. Hi, and welcome to the Real Estate Way to Wealth and Freedom podcast, episode 201. Hi, I'm your host, Jacob Ayers, and you are listening to Friday Fundamentals. Hi, and welcome back. I hope you're having a great Friday or whichever day of the week you're listening to this podcast. I hope all is well on your end. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode. Well, this week's Friday Fundamental is Fuel Your Mind. Now, life is a journey of either self-improvement for some or self-sabotage for others. If you are listening to this show, you are obviously on a journey of self-improvement. This journey is one of constant improvement with the goal of being better than you were yesterday. Not better than your neighbor, not better than that internet personality, just better than you were yesterday. Now, the basic tools you have in life are your body and mind. When talking about improving your body, we all generally understand the obvious need for good health, through diet, exercise, rest, etc. Our bodies are a product of what we put them through and what we put through them. We understand that fueling our body with good foods and exercising regularly are important to our health and longevity. But rarely do we give the same consideration to our minds. If comparing mind and body, the mind is a much more powerful tool. The average adult brain weighs 3 pounds, is capable of producing 23 watts of power, and is made up of over 100 billion neurons and over 100,000 miles of blood vessels. All of that and we watch cat videos on social media, gossip about celebrities we don't know, and watch reality TV. Our minds are much like our bodies. They are a product of what we put into them and how we use them, kind of like diet and exercise. Now our minds are like a sponge. What we put in them gets absorbed and stored for later. If you are constantly fueling your mind with good and positive information, then those are the things that make up your thoughts. If you are constantly feeding your mind with junk, limiting beliefs, and negative content, then those are the things that make up your thoughts. When you realize this, you begin to guard your mind against that bad input and instead consume as much good content as possible. Here are just a few resources and ways I found helpful to consume interesting and positive content. First, podcasts. Of course, I had to put this at the top of the list, but you already know that podcasts can be a great source of information since you're listening to this podcast at this very moment. Podcasts have become the audio version of Google with almost any topic imaginable being available at the touch of a button. Another great resource are audiobooks. Audiobooks are a great source of knowledge and entertainment and a convenient alternative to reading. Like podcasts, you can listen to audiobooks on the go in your car, on your commute, while exercising, or just doing chores around your house. Audible.com is a great audiobook resource that I personally use. If you've never heard of Audible and you're interested in trying it out, there's a link in the show notes that will give you a free trial if you're interested. And three, YouTube. YouTube is the second largest search engine and the third most trafficked website on the internet with over 1 billion hours of content watched each day around the world. Anything you can imagine is on YouTube. And four, TED Talks. 
TED began in 1984 as a conference where technology, entertainment, and design converged, and today covers almost all topics, from science to business to global issues. You can find TED Talks on all kinds of interesting subjects, and these short talks are usually very digestible, 15 to 20 minutes in length. Now, while there are many studies to back up the power of positive thinking, that's not the point I'm trying to make here today. You don't have to spend your days watching motivational videos and staring at your vision board. What I am saying is fuel your mind with new and interesting ideas, concepts, thoughts, and visions. Learn new things. Explore new ideas. Spend some time just thinking. When is the last time you sat down to just think? I don't mean sitting down and just worrying about all the things you have to do. Rather, take some time to focus your mind. Meditation is a good practice that will help you exercise your mind. Now, it's by no means something that I'm good at, but I have found it to be helpful. Look, you don't have to be the smartest person. You just have to have the right mindset. If you can improve each and every day from where you were the previous day, just imagine what you would be capable of in one 5, 10, or even 50 years from now. Don't compare where you are now to where others are in their journey. You are different from everyone else. Fuel your mind with worthwhile content. Exercise it by thinking about things that will help you and others. Don't ever quit improving, growing, learning, and experiencing new thoughts and ideas. With the right mindset, you are capable of achieving anything you can imagine. Well, that wraps up this week's episode of Friday Fundamentals. Hey, I hope you're getting value from this podcast. If you like what you're hearing, please go over and leave a rating and review and let me know what you think of the show. I'd love to hear your feedback and give you a shout out on an upcoming episode. Well, for more information, resources, and to connect with me, the best place to do that is at www.jacobayers.com. Till next week, engineer the lifestyle you want. You've been listening to the Real Estate Way to Wealth and Freedom podcast, providing you actionable content to build your real estate empire. Nothing on this show should be considered specific, personal, or professional advice. Please consult an appropriate tax, legal, real estate, financial, or business professional for personal advice. The opinions of guests are their own. Information is not guaranteed. All investment strategies have a potential for profit or loss. The host is operating on behalf of the Real Estate Way to Wealth and Freedom, LLC, exclusively.